Uh, Where do you want to start? Well, Scott, uh, obviously K-State's really improved over the last few weeks. What, what, what do you see from them? Well, I think first and foremost, uh, uh, the league is so tough. Um, if you're not healthy, it really makes it hard. And everybody's banged up. Uh, but, I mean, Kansas State's had everybody together the last three games, and they beat Texas, they beat Texas Tech, and they could have very easily beaten Kansas. So I think everybody realizes when they're all together um, just how, how good they are. And uh, they got a lot of uh, – they got some returning players that, that help give the stability, and they've gotten better and improved. But then uh, the players they've added – um, bring them not only uh, uh, talent but experience as they're older guys. And um, one's a transfer from Missouri and Illinois, and another's a transfer from Wake Forest, another from Arkansas Little Rock. So they, they're not bringing them in freshmen that got to have growing pains and, and learn what it's like to be in college. Joe, I wanted to ask you about Mark Smith. He's been leading the league in rebounding. Uh, what, what you see from him? Yeah, so uh, uh, a lot of rebounds. Um, <laughs> uh, but he's, he's somebody that uh, uh, is uh, obviously got a nose for the ball, um, physical, strong, athletic. Uh, and then he's a, he's a guard playing the four. So uh, offensively, uh, he's, he's, he's a tough matchup. Uh, in their backcourt, um, uh, that's, that's a lot of points, a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, assists, a lot of quickness, a lot of athleticism. So it makes it, makes it hard to guard. Uh, uh, both of them, and they kind of set the table for everybody else on the team. Coach, you talked about how you know basketball is a game of runs, but it feels like that's been happening anymore than, than normal for you guys. How, how are you kind of you know start to fix that or you know go up big? Yeah. Kind of back off. Well, I think uh, uh, we like the going up big part. We'll probably try to fix the the back and off part. But I think uh, again, that's college basketball. I think it's uh, uh, first of all, you're playing very good teams and very well coached teams. So there's not a knockout punch. Um, you look at it even with Oklahoma State, we get down big. It's not like we win away. Um, so most of your Big 12 games are one possession games. And when you have a lead, if you can build on it, uh, uh, obviously every coach wants that. I think with us, uh, it's been a little harder to build on leads um, because of our depth has definitely been affected. And normally uh, you want to uh, – early on in the year when we didn't have injuries, we could hit them in waves. And I think uh, uh, um, obviously with Jeremy and James uh, being out some, that's affected some of that. Uh, at the same time, I think uh, college basketball in general, fans are back. That gives you momentum. Um, the other thing is the three-point shot. Uh, that changes things quick. And then the last thing is you look at the Big 12 Conference, uh, uh, look at the Ken Palm rankings. It's not even close. We're so far ahead of every conference because the defenses are outstanding. And um, that means they usually get a lot of steals and stops, which allows uh, uh, quick point changes and lead changes. And when we get stops, we get turnovers, and we get out, then we, we get on those runs too. Still day to day, and uh, it, it's hard to get healthy in the Big 12. Um, uh, when you play, you get banged up, and obviously, it was a big, big bucket. Uh, James hit when he uh, landed back on his on his tailbone. So uh, uh, I'm gonna put a uh, one of them. Uh, 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 I know he's got those uh, cushions, those football pads to to help with it, but we need a bigger, thicker one right on that tailbone, I guess. Is he? Uh, how's he doing since? Uh, he, he's 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 a tough kid, and uh, he's rehabbing. And um, day to day with him, and Jeremy's getting closer each and every day. Scott, uh, with some of those guys in and out, how important has it been for Matthew to let you play really well at the top? Well, it's been it's been more important for all the guys that are that are still in the rotation, and then it's been important for the guys that we've added to the rotation. But especially the guys uh, uh, um, that have. Uh, Kendall and Matt that have picked up the slack for Jeremy. I mean, um, knock on wood, we've we've had foul trouble, but it's not like both of them have fouled out. And um, both of them have done a great job on the glass and defensively. Um, and both of them have been offensively. Uh, uh, obviously, West Virginia, Matt was really good. But uh, KB and, and, and Matt have been very, very good uh, uh, in all aspects of the game, with Jeremy being out and picking up for him. Yeah, the second game I think we had uh, students, but uh, obviously now everyone's back and 
And uh, that's so critical, so important, that energy, um, that excitement, that, that helps you fight through fatigue, helps keep you motivated. And uh, uh, it's really hard to win on the road in the Big 12 um, because the student sections and the fan support is so good. I thought, uh, I thought the uh, student section was tremendous in the women's game on uh, uh, Sunday. I thought uh, uh, Bear Pit was alive and kicking. <laughs> Coach Tang really enjoyed talking to the officials and not worried about getting a technical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Coach Finley said you were ragging on him. Yeah. <laughs> so Coach Finley coached my sister. Yeah, that's what he and, did. And family friend and uh, 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 love Coach Finley and his staff. Obviously, they're playing Baylor. So um, I had to have a little fun with the sit-down coach before the game. <laughs> he looked up like, ooh. <laughs> Was that a lot of fun? It's it's you you always support uh, uh, each other, but uh, um, it's really hard during season because literally, with quick turnarounds, you're you're just watching film and prepping. So it's hard to go to other games, and uh, uh, otherwise you'd go to a lot more. But it's fun when you get a chance to, and and uh, and, and definitely enjoyed. Uh, uh, it's a great atmosphere, great game for the women. <laughs> we, we, we just had fun learning from them and then throwing in a couple stuff from the 70s and 80s and 90s they might not know about. <laughs> Scott, is there a little more motivation for this one because you're back home and coming off those two? I tell you, they're all, they're all motivation for you. I mean, you, you, you look at it, each, each game such a grind, such a war. And the great thing is you show the team on, on, on the film and you don't have to motivate because – I mean, they see Pat getting 35 against K-State, and they're like, hey, he can play. You know, you don't have to – needless to say, he had, what, 18 or 19 against us last year, and um, that that in itself should be good. But, I mean, they, they, they players recognize players, and um, you just watch uh, that game or you watch the clips that we put together, uh, you see just how talented the Big 12 is, and um, it, it makes it exciting for players because each and every night uh, you got to play well or you get embarrassed. Uh, it, it, it means a lot to coaches, and it means a lot to, uh, I think, everybody in this world. I mean, uh, if you've been blessed to know no one that's been affected by cancer, uh, it will uh, get to you eventually, someone that you know, because uh, obviously it's affected so many, and the research dollars and the money and the awareness have, have saved so many lives. And obviously my parents, both cancer survivors, uh, um, tremendous uh, uh, thing to be a part of. And uh, we're always excited about that. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Well, is there a big sense on this team? Y'all want to get back on track at home now after winning a couple of road games? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's the plan. But uh, for us, we always have we always have the focus of just going one uh, one game at a time. I mean, when losing those two games, it was really heartbreaking. First of all, because we broke the re the the streak, the winning streak. But we just realized we had a bigger purpose, and the bigger purpose is obviously to win the Big 12. So we got to take it game by game, and this this game is as big as any other game we're going to play. Yeah. Uh, what do you see from them? They're obviously an improving team. It's like they've really gotten better over the last few weeks. Uh, I mean, we don't underestimate them at all because they're a really good team. Uh, cons considering you look at the last couple of games they played, they've only lost by like three points, and it's very close. Also, if you look at the last game when they played against Kansas, it was fairly a close game with that last bucket. So I feel like it's going to be their, their really good matchup for us. It's going to be a tough game, but we just got to fight it out. I mean, for me, it's the bigger purpose is to win. And well, one of my uh, my betterment attributes is setting great screens and getting my teammates open. So if I get them open, the defense collapses on them, I get wide open. So the more I focus on getting them open, the wider I get open. So that's just best to be my bread and butter. Jordan, how do you feel like you've come along this year? You're starting to get a little more playing time. What, what have you been kind of working on? Well, uh, I've tried to work on every area of my game, but mainly I've been focusing on just playing defense or just being the best I can be on defense. Um, and then just also getting stronger and, uh, you know, 
my attributes over the years has been just being there for my teammates if they need anything and uh, just contributing to the team as I can. Working against them in practice, the other guys, maybe this doesn't surprise you that this team has done. I mean, you kind of saw the talent already, even though they, you guys lost so much. You, just kind, of, you kind of see more talent now. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, all of our guys have unique abilities, and uh, we all bring something that somebody else doesn't possess. So it's just good to have. We basically just have an overall stacked team, so any, anybody could step up in any game. So, yeah. So I just feel like, uh, you know, you know, James missed a game, Jeremy's missed a few. Do you feel like you guys have maybe showed the, the depth you guys have? Most definitely. Uh, just guys being ready. Uh, whoever steps up one game, two games, will have different guys in double figures. So everybody just piggy piggyback off everybody's performances. Well, I want to ask you about Mark Smith. I think he's still leading the league in rebounding. What, what do you see from him at Kansas State? I mean, he's a really aggressive guard. Uh, I saw a couple of film on him, and he's kind of like the glue guy for K State as well. You know, like in, in down moments, he's been the guy to score and everything. But I just feel like we, we should definitely pay attention to him and how, how he's going to play. Because I saw against Kansas, he didn't play too well, but I feel like he's going to try to have a big game against us. But overall, I mean, K State is a really good team, really talented team, and just playing them throughout the years is so always a good matchup for us. Uh, yeah, it felt different. I mean, Jordan was kind of looking at me when I was on the court, but it <laughs> felt different. But like I said, man, I mean, the ultimate goal is always to get a win, and whichever way I can affect the team in matters of winning, uh, that's always a goal. Yeah. Kind of off of that, does it feel nice? Because uh, after the game, Coach Drew said that like you were in the zone and that's why he, uh, the ones he got, that does it feel nice hearing that from Coach? Um, definitely. It's definitely a confident booster uh, when you have your coach supporting you and just always being there for you. and. It's just gives you an energy to go out there and perform and just play your heart out. So, yeah, for sure. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you all.